All right, hey guys, we are here. We are from Dr. Ralph's strategic management class here at MTSU. Um, we are doing a case study over Coca-Cola Bottling Company and Consolidated. I am JP Reed. I'm here with Vanacom Thepsivon and Zach Dunn, Adriano Congelosi, um, and George Dalton as well. First, we're gonna start off with the external analysis, kind of get an overview of the industry that Coca-Cola Bottling Company is in. Um, it's not really flooded with many threatening competitors. One of the biggest competitors of, for the company is Pepsi Company Bottling Ventures. Uh, and like we said, it's not really flooded with many, thre many threatening competitors, so there's really a low threat for new entrants to penetrate the industry. Um, Coca-Cola has the highest market share price for bottling companies uh, in this industry, so we, that's really good for them. Uh, and a lot of the new product introductions, packaging changes, and sales promotions um, are used as primary sales and marketing practices within this industry, um, you know, just for non-alcoholic beverages. And we found a quote that we think is applicable to the trend of healthy drinks cutting into soda sales. Uh, and it is the industry has found itself out of favor as consumers seek beverage alternatives to soda that they see that they deem healthier, notably juices and flavored waters. Those alternatives don't contain as many calories as soda and also don't include ingredients like the sweetener aspartame, which has fallen out of uh, favor in recent years. And um, next we'd like to go to the competitor environment. Uh, local competing bottling companies are Pepsi-Cola, which we said has the second highest market share within this industry. And then we got Dr. Pepper, Royal Crown, and 7-Up. Um, and again, we said there's really a low threat of entrance since everybody um, in the top has really high market share, which makes kind of the smaller companies in this field have a disadvantage, especially those within the regions that Coca-Cola Bottling Company operates. Uh, for the internal analysis, uh, Coca-Cola Bottling Company has done so by um, expanding, by buying out and taking over buildings for transportation and bottling companies so they could expand their territory. They also did partnerships with people like Licks, Drive Cams, and they have over 300 brands and flavors. Their current strategy is mainly focused on supply chain management, like um, the partnership with Licks Driving, Drive Cam, to uh, review driving habits and routes and, and make things more efficient for truckers. They also assign a new board of directors, Richard T. Williams. Um, he has a long record, a long 37-year 30, re career record, and has won the Fortune 500 award. Hopefully he could bring innovation to Coca-Cola Consolidated. They also have bought out, taken over facilities and open new facilities, such as the one in Char Charlotte, North Carolina. With this, they created new jobs. They're able to serve more and be more efficient. They also made their brand more aware. aware. So as we look over the SWOT analysis, we can see that uh, one of our biggest strengths is that we have a high production capability we're able to produce over 300 brands and flavors. Um, this allows us to have the capability to deliver exactly what our partners ask for, and we can do it in a timely and consistent manner and still produce it in good quality. Uh, our weakness is, is that as we've been expanding, a lot of our funds have gone towards debt, and as, that, as we move forward, that debt can be demanding, and future funds that come in uh, could go and just funnel more towards paying off that debt instead of being in other departments. Uh, the opportunity that we have though is that we're able to actively expand into new territories and create new distribution centers and increase our overall uh, market share. Um, some threats that we can experience, uh, obviously if we lost distribution rights to Coca-Cola company, um, that would be 85% of our sales, which would be detrimental. And um, if we lost any of our three big customers here, uh, Walmart, Food Lion, or Kroger, altogether they make 34% of our sales, that would also hurt us in a really drastic way. As we look at the financial analysis, um, Coca-Cola Bottling Company has been heavily invested into the growth of the company and as we've been expanding, 
Um, that's also allowed us to hit new highs of net sales at a uh, whopping 36.9%. Um, that's great, but in the bigger picture too, if you look at the net income, um, it's actually decreased 15%. And that just comes as we are expanding, we're accumulating more debts, there's been new costs, uh, especially in the administrative side. And our debt as of now is at a rate of uh, 956 million. And so we definitely need to stay weary of that and focus our time and effort to pay that off. Next, we would like to go into some strategic concerns that we face. One is being strictly known as a soda bottling company, and this is strictly due to the Coca-Cola being our main uh, brand that we carry. Also, we have been currently trying to expand to gain more distribution centers, and this has caused a, a increase in major debt. So here's some suggestions that we have came up with. We would like to recreate the brand perception on a cultural and community level. This will allow us to betray that we are more than just Coke. On a cultural level, we would like to create a social media and television marketing campaign. And also on a community level, we would like to plan sponsor at local events. So going into some tactical suggestions to build on the strategic suggestions, one of the big ones that we would like to do is a brand diversity commercial. Um, in these different commercials, we would like to uh, portray the not as well known, but still high um, profitable drinks that we carry that are the healthier drinks, um, on kind of unlike Coke, which is a lot of sugar. Um, and then we would like to do a social media campaign as well. Uh, and something that we could do for that would be have a promotional weekly drink that you feature on all of your social media pages. Here at MTSU, we have a feature Friday for students on our Department of Marketing page. Um, so we would kind of resemble that a little bit and have some of the healthier drinks um, featured on the social media page. So we can kind of get that brand perception going from just soda to the more healthier drinks being more well known. Um, and then one of the biggest ones I think would be a promotional national tour. Um, and that would kind of have a little bit of a shark tank feel where we would go and uh, kind of visit different uh, companies that are up and coming that have healthy uh, as well as tasty drinks. And we would kind of uh, just kind of get to know them a little bit um, and introduce them to our major distribution channels and see if we can both be profitable. Um, obviously they would pitch us their drinks and we would vet all of the contestants um, and we would kind of get to be able to pick out the best ones that we feel like would be profitable or the most profitable. Um, and that way that would really help increase revenue as well as kind of change that brand image that we've been talking about. Um, and that's going to kind of conclude our presentation uh, for our case study. We hope you enjoyed it. And we really, we enjoyed it as a team. I'm really researching and doing this case study. So thank you for the opportunity.